20 million dollars, 20 mil, house on the hill, a Lamborghini in the driveway, fly first class both ways, both ways, see the world when I want to, when I want to, shopping sprees when I want to, when I want to, with interest a show do, that'll do, on the hotel. Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. So I'm sure you're wondering where the heck are we? It is so dark. So as you can see from the sign, we are at the world famous, well, yeah, I would say world famous. I think that's fair to say. Snow's Barbecue, which is located in Lexington, Texas. It's just about an hour outside of Austin and about a two hour drive from where we are in San Antonio, Texas. So um, we just arrived. It is about 2 a.m. in the morning. We set out from San Antonio just after midnight. And uh, yeah, we drove here um, about two hours to get a good spot in line. So at this time at 2 a.m., we are at number 10. So there are nine people ahead of us. Um, and this place doesn't open until 8 a.m. So, um, and it's very famous. And the reason we're here this early in the morning is because, well, they actually open at 8 a.m. They're open one day per week only, which is Saturday. Um, and as I said, they're open from 8 a.m. until the meat runs out. That's it, which is usually pretty early. And the line tends to get pretty, pretty long. Um, I mean, if you come here at 7 a.m. in the morning or 8 a.m. as they open, you're pretty much guaranteed not to get, you know, um, like the brisket and the major stuff that people come for, like the ribs and stuff, those will most likely be sold out and you're probably going to be number 350 <laughs> in the line at that time. So we decided to venture out and take the trip here. Uh, a lot of people talk about it. It is a major experience. Snow's Barbecue has been voted the number one barbecue in Texas by Texas. Texas Monthly Magazine twice, most recently in 2017 was the last time they were rated number one. Um, over there in the red shirt is the pitmaster Miss Tootsie. She is 86 years young and um, yeah, she is the pitmaster who, you know, runs it all here and she's just a phenomenal lady. Um, she also has another job as a custodian at a school. That's her regular Monday through Friday, and she's still doing that at 86 years old. Um, this re restaurant has actually been open for 18 years now, but um, gained notoriety and popularity two years ago in 2020 when it was featured on Netflix's uh, Chef's Table. So that just had hordes and hordes of people showing up <laughs> to um, get this barbecue and see what it's all about. And Tootsie, fun fact, has also been nominated, was nominated um, in 2018 for a James Beard Award. So um, that's a pretty big, you know, uh, accolade. So yeah, we are here to see what it's all about and if it's worth it. <laughs> Hello guys. We're freezing out here waiting to have some barbecue, which better be worth it. It's 4.30 a.m. in yeah. the morning. How, how, how cold Six, is it? 65 degrees. 65 degrees and every minute Windy. the temperature is going down and down. They open at 8 o'clock. And we're number 10. Yeah. So we should be getting over barbecue before 9 or 9.30. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So we'll let you guys know if it's worth it. 
So at this point, we have been here um, just over two and a half hours already. Um, it was extremely windy and unseasonably cold <laughs> this particular um, morning slash night, whatever you want to call it, since it was um, about 4.30 a.m. The wind was just something fierce and... Um, it was about 65 degrees and the temperature was constantly dropping. It went down to as low as 58, I believe. Um, and, you know, folks that showed up here in flip-flops and shorts, <laughs> you know, wound up um, grabbing blankets from their cars and, you know, finding other stuff to layer up. But, um, it was definitely a memorable experience. The cold, more than anything, made it very memorable for us. Now, um, it's light out, as you can see at this point. I think it was about after 7 a.m. in the morning. Um, you can see people there on their lounge chairs. The line pretty much wrapped around and um by this time a little after seven there were already over a hundred people there so here it is you're looking at the brisket um we full disclosure we actually took this home with us we were too tired to sit there and eat um we got some pork steak some jalapeno sausage we got sliced turkey and we also got um, a half a smoked chicken and some of the pork ribs now full disclosure although we drove back two hours to san antonio with this food um we actually had an opportunity to eat some there immediately fresh off the smoker and i have to tell you guys in our opinion ziki agrees with me on this one we've both had better brisket was it worth driving two hours, waiting in the freezing cold for six hours? In our opinion, probably not. Um, just for the experience factor, I would say yes, you meet great people in line. It's definitely worth doing once. Would we go back? Would we do it again? Probably not. Well, I'll say definitely not. But the highlight for us were, were the pork steaks, so we would go back for that. So yeah, guys, that's it. That was our experience um, going to Snow's Barbecue. If you've eaten at Snow's Barbecue, comment down below. Let us know what you think. Um, if it's on your bucket list, are you still going to go? Um, yeah, let us know. We hope you enjoyed this video. 20 million dollars, 20 mil, house on the hill, a Lamborghini in the driveway, fly first class both ways, both.